out for the Wokingham. Under orders and away, and Amarone breaks very fast in the centre from Dawn's Delight. Priya Bajenska on the stand side right up there, and also Son of Raja running very fast with him as well, and Shasta Sam in the centre of the course. And as they run down towards the four furlong marker, Priya Bajenska on the stand side, Morse Pip there in the center over on the far side with the sheepskin noseband, Amaroni leading Ferryman. It's Morse Pip to the right, Amaroni to the left. It's a pleasure is just in behind them, the gray, and then Priya Bajenska on the right of the picture. It's Amaroni in the lead though, from Morse Pip towards the right, then comes Son of Raja, over the rainbow, finishing well. Ardrox Lad over on the far side with Deputy Head, but Amaroni is still making it. Amaroni from Morse Pip, and then Patong putting in a good run with Ardrox Lad upsides. It's Amaroni being chased by Patong now, the grey, and then Son of Raja on the stand side, but it's still Amaroni as they race into the closing stages from Patong, who's come to challenge and take it up and running right across the course. But Patong has won it from Amaroni second and third. Milk Hart with Lester Bigot lost his cap. Those are the one, two, three. Deputy Head was fourth. Patong the winner. Amaroni, Milk Hart, and Deputy Head are the one, two, three, four in the working up. First, number four, Patong owned by Mr. T.G. Warner, trained by Michael Jarvis, and written by Bruce Raymond. Second, number 16, Amaroni, owned by Mr. V.J. Advani, trained by Rod Simpson, and written by Simon Whitworth. And third, number 12, Milk Hart, owned by Elisha Holding, trained by Jeff Lewis, and written by Lester Pickett. Fourth, for me, number 14, deputy head, but the judge has called on a photo for fourth place. And he's announced those concerned. Number 14, 31, Corypheus, and 32, Numismatist. But this is the winner, Patong, that is only for fourth place. This is the winner. Patong by Man Singh out of Iridium. Ran clean off a true line inside the final furlong, but did not appear to hamper any other runner in the process. And I very much doubt if uh, Bruce Raymond, his partner there, uh, will have any anxious moments despite uh, that swerve. So this is a feature to look for after Amaroni had made so much of the running as we review it with Julian Wilson. Yes, Amaroni made a marvellous attempt to make every yard of the running. That's him in the centre with the nose band there. Ardrox Lad uh, towards the far side, and Patong just behind the leaders at this point. Priyabajenska right on the right, racing on her own. Morse Pip right up there with the leaders. At this point, uh, Amaroni is still two, two and a half lengths clear, and look to have a terrific chance of making all. But look at the grey behind. Bruce Raymond uh, just starting his run, and on the inside of him is Milk Hart, who just as Lester wants him to improve, finds that uh, the horse in front of him has just come in cross of him. Patong just... Uh, goes a little bit to the left there, pricks his ears as Bruce Raymond really picks him up with 150 yards to go. For a moment it looked to say he wasn't going to pick up, but look how Bruce pulls his stick through to his left hand, gives him a smack, and two things happen. He bursts forward, but he also bursts forward to the right, but luckily was clear of all his opponents when he did so. It was a remarkable burst of speed, which has taken him from a length down to a length and a half in front. He's won it, Amaroni is second, Third is Mel Card, and the fourth is, well, it's a very close thing indeed, but it looks like Deputy Ahead on the far side. Yes, as you say, Julian, it's very close for fourth between Deputy Head, Corypheus, and Numismatist. Deputy Head was the finisher on the far side. Numismatist and Corypheus nearest to us. This is the winner. Patong. Always running very strongly over the last two furlongs and